if I'm going to be using this little scope long term around here, it really needs to be put in its box. So I think that's what today's project is. Build the uh, acrylic case that came with it and get it protected from all the stray bits of wire and metal and other random crud that uh, floats around my workbench. So here's all the parts of the case. There is no instructions for this, but that's fine. I can uh, wing it. Several of you pointed out when I opened this that this thing was broken. So I think that's going to be the first order of business is to make that unbroken. Which means, okay, my eggs, not that one. Oh. Okay, I will use this exacto. I'll just lift the uh, the protective paper off because I don't want to glue it into into the glue join. Um, I'm just going to use crazy glue, aka super glue, aka cyanoacrylate adhesive. Just peel some of that backing paper off. I am probably going to fingerprints and other imperfections in here. Do you really think I care that much? This is a tool. This isn't something that I'm going to be sending out to the world to complain about. Tools do tend to get scuffed and damaged when you're using them in the manner in which they're intended. If you see somebody with uh, tools that haven't taken any damage ever, you gotta wonder if they've ever actually used them. So, that, that fits in there pretty nice and clean, actually. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be pretty close. So, here is some generic super glue that I have around here. Let's see if it's Eeeesh. Wonder if that'll even bond. No, it's not sticking my fingers together. To the garbage! Okay. Not with that though. That's a container. Perfectly fine for something else. Um, what else have I got back here? Hmm. There's some more. Actually, Crazy Glue brand. The mini stuff, which is for me, that's perfect because I don't use it every day of the week, so it tends to, as you just witnessed, ah, crud up. Okay, I think I got that. Is that punctured? Yes, it is. Okay. I'll just put a bit onto each of the severed chunks and... Press it in place the right way up. Ah. Hope that's the appropriate adhesive for the job. Hey. Maybe just apply a bit more and let it wick in. Okay, let that set. We'll be back in a while. Alrighty, let's look at what the parts are. That one's obviously the back because it's got the least amount of holes in it. Um, that is clearly the one that goes back there. Okay, so does that fit there or there? Okay. Ah! First thing that I'm gonna, that I notice there's a hole to access the calibration pin, but the calibration pin is is not present. It's just a couple of pads 
which when I look really close at them can you see that those two pads are actually joined together they're really one pad and in the description it shows them as uh, as just having a little loopy jumper between them so I am going to solder that in there but in the meantime I'm still going to try and figure out approximately how this thing goes together so that sits like that I'm going to have to take these little plastic feet off there um, this is going to be that side with access to the uh, the USB which I still haven't figured out yet these two are going to be the two sides. I'm going to take the board out of there for a minute since it doesn't have, all right, since I have to take the feet off it. So these are all just going to jigsaw puzzle together. Come in. Like that. And then there's three. Is like this like that I guess does that go underneath there hmm? underneath the TFT maybe but there's some components that are sitting pretty high yeah, that one sits like that Those two are the same if I poke that little insert out. I really am just winging this. If you guys haven't noticed that by now, that winging it is my major way of doing things, then somebody hasn't been paying attention. Okay, so those two seem to fit like that. Now these little red things look like yeah they go like that okay so they sit on there and kind of go through there oh that's tight I'm going to shave something down there a little bit but yeah, those all are really super duper tight. That might work. I guess. Now then, what are these guys? Oh, do they? Yeah, they snap apart. So those are probably the pushy button things. Something's not quite right here. I think that does go underneath there. I'm going to try and see. I hadn't wanted to lift the TFT off, but... So that... Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. That does just fit in there, doesn't it? Hmm. But then does that sit like that? That doesn't really retain it though, does it? But if that goes like that, but that won't, that doesn't sit down low enough. Hmm. I'm going to just pause and look at the pictures in the, descri in the uh, eBay listing. Maybe that'll help me. None of the eBay listings show what I needed to see. So, so I clicked over to Banggood and found just the case. 
and in the case listing there is a YouTube video of some at high speed. So that's going to be really useful. I'm going to watch that. I'm not going to force you to watch it. I, I'll link to it I guess uh, in the description in case you're going along here. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the lack of this front piece right here. That looks like it's the last thing to go on though so I'll worry about that when I get there. Alrighty then, that makes more sense. So this piece, according to that, actually mounts like this and it so it does sit underneath and it screws down through the four little holes with the four little screws. So I'll get busy on that in time lapse. Please enjoy the music. Okay, that wasn't so bad except for peeling all this crud off. That was annoying. If I had proper fingernails, it would be less annoying. But anyway, that's like that. Now then, um, let me start laminating these onto the top, I guess. And that sticks down like that through there. Okay. I'm going to save you having to watch me scrape these things off because that's annoying and time consuming. And I'll just come back after I've cleaned these ones off. Okay, I have returned with these all peeled. Now, that is super duper tight. I noted earlier. So I'm going to adjust them using a nice gentle application of the mill bastard file doesn't take much just i hope it doesn't take much a couple of swipes on either side does that fit oh yeah look at that much nicer okay one under normal circumstances this file would be the perfect tool for sharpening an axe or a wood chisel or something similar but in this case oh these have a protective sheeting on them ah I never noticed that hmm where's the fourth one let's see if just peeling that off is enough okay Maybe the file was inadequate and overkill for the task at hand. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. Okay, so. Those go in there. Where's the one that I scuffed the worst? Yeah, those go in there and a spare. Okay. Okay. And then one of those goes over top. Apparently the other one of those, oops. Is that right? No, that's not right. Have I done this wrong? I have. Excuse me. So what I did wrong is that I put this the wrong way up. Because that has to go that way in order to clear everything. So 
these screws all going to sit down in there? Nope, not quite. And I'll just screw those back on and come right back. Okay. It's like it never happened. So, that will sit on there. Yeah, now these holes all line up down here. That's what should happen. Put these slidey switch levery bits back in. Which one of these is less scuffed? There we go. Okay, so that's in there. And that one sits over top. Let's flip it the right way. Okay. So there. And, well, okay. I'm going to take these guys back off again. They were handy when I had it sitting on the bench top, just loose, but since I don't want it sitting on the bench top just loose anymore, they will become part of something else. So how these work, just for completeness here, focus. They just pinch, uh, squeeze through the board and those things flare out. So I just squeeze them in with the pliers and out the keen. Super duper nice and easy. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to get these push buttons all prepped with the same thing. Just remove the protective coating from them. Which is as easy as using a knife to get under it and peel it off. Now those should slide nice and easy in there, and they do. Oh, oh, look at that. The bottom one's slightly smaller too, so it does just stop in there. Excellent. I'm hoping that when we push them down against the tack switches, the tack switches push them up a little bit. This is really my biggest struggle, is these stupid protective sheets. Fast forward. And there's the reset button. Okay. That looks very reasonable. So next... I think... I will... Start sandwiching this all together, I think, I think. Which means, another pause while I peel all the plastic off there. Or all the sheeting stuff, you know, the protective crap. That really is the hardest part of this task, once I figured out what I was doing. Okie dokie, got all those things peeled. This thing, annoyingly, the... Uh, a little bit of the glue ran under the the protective sheet and kind of schmooed that up a little bit, which I hope doesn't cause me grief. That's going to sit in that corner. Okay, so it's not going to interfere with the screen. Good. But it's still a little bit moist, so I'm just going to leave it to sit out of the way. And while that dries, I'm going to put a little loop of wire on, on the test point there. So let's see, are these holes through holes or are they just pads on the surface? Oh, they're through holes. Okay. Or even vaguely in focus. So that one I ought to just flip that over. Solder him down too. How's that look? It looks out of focus. 
Looks reasonable enough to me. That didn't take too much time. How's this looking? Are we dry yet? No, finger still sticks to it. Time passes. Maybe use one of those fancy graphics here. Dune after. That seems to be dried, at least as dry as it's going to get. So that sandwiches onto the top of this sandwich of stuff and aligns with these bolts. It should also line it up with all the push buttons and knobs and things. Here's the slightly scary one. Now, let me spin these nuts down onto them and sandwich this whole stack together. Okay, now according to the Banggood video, this is the really trickiest part. I'm gonna get those four bolts aligned and that, all those header pins there aligned and there's a set of header pins in there and gotta get all the switches all aligned. I'm just going to slowly nudge things together here. Okay, so those four are good. That one's good. Looks like, so there's these extra set of nuts here that, uh, that clamp the board onto the stack and hold the, hold everything together. And then we start assembling the sides of the case. M3 nuts are not compatible with my big mitts. They just aren't. However, there's a tool that I found in one of my assortments of screwdrivers that I've never used before. It came in an assortment of jeweler screwdrivers, and it is so like a 5.5 millimeter wrench. I think that's what it is. It fits these M3 nuts just perfectly. Complete shock. I don't know how tight I want this. I don't want to bend the board. I think I just want it snug so that when I'm pushing on these buttons up here that I don't push the board off its edge connectors, its uh, header pins rather. Okay, so that, now I can start. Uh-oh. I have screwed up again. Okay. I gotta loosen these guys back off a bit enough to uh, get that in there. In order to get this tab into there. Ow. There. Okay. That's in there. That's in there. Right. Taking all these back down and carry on again. This one uh, is, goes on the front. Okay. That one goes kind of like that and like that. We're getting close. This one goes 
like this and like that. Oops, nope. Looks like this. And hopefully it doesn't bust that glue joint open. There. Okay. The last piece. Is it going to fit? Would you look at that? And then spin these acorn nuts down in the bottom and those act as the feet. Ah, there we go. Last click. A bit of a wrenching here. <gasps> Tighten them until she cracks back a quarter turn. There it is. Hmm. A few fingerprints. Why isn't that sitting level? Because my bench isn't level. Right, of course, that's it. So, it's left to do, but try her out. So there's that. Where'd my 9 volt battery go? It's lighting up. Boot messages. Random noise. Oops. Ah, how do I get onto that? There we go. After a little bit of adjusting, can you see that at all? Hmm. Oh, yeah, right. This is only really visible on the camera. If I do that, it works, it works, it works. Wow, I have a working scope in a case. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the test point. Beautiful. Let me turn the lights back on. I am pleased with that. Okay, this part where the glue is is ugly, but the little switches all work. I was worried, but Chinese engineering overcomes Canadian multi thumbedness. Excellent! Okay, I realize it's not an exciting Friday video, but there you go. It's it is what it is. I will talk to you next week. Yes, I did crack it when I over torqued it. <laughs>